Welcome, in this video we're going to take a look at how you can search for text strings within PCAP files. My name is Dara Delaney from Netford. OK, I'm logged on to my Lang Guardian. So to do a text search, the first thing we need to do is configure a IDS signature to search for that particular text string. So to do that, click on the gear symbol, go to settings, and go to local IDS signatures. And you can add many here. Um, I'm going to add my first one. So click on add signature. And here we have the actual signature itself. So the first part of it is alert. That basically just puts, puts this alert into a database or creates an entry in our database. Second part is TCP. So you can search for TCP or UDP. I'm going to leave it as TCP. Um, and the next section here, external net, I'm going to take that out and put in any. So I don't really care what network this packet comes from. And I'm going to take out the home net here. And I'm going to replace that with any because again, I don't really care what it's destined for. The message box here, if it's delete the text that it's suggesting, it's just the name for this signature. So I'm going to go for text search and put in my name here. The content is important. In my case, this is the actual string that I'm going to search for. So I'm going to search from the any mention of my name. Further along here, don't worry about the class type, but the SID here, uh, be careful with this. This has to be unique for every signature you add. So if you want to copy an existing one, be sure to increase that number by one. So just be sure that you have a unique SID, which is a, secure, a signature identifier for every custom signature or local IDS signature that you have. So we save that. The system will do a um, syntax check on the, the actual um, signature itself. So if you have an error in there, it's not going to work. It will um, come back and tell you that. Just be careful too that you don't create signatures searching for any, 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 and you don't search for text. You potentially will capture every single packet. OK, so I've added my signature. Next, I want to analyze a PCAP file that I have. So to do that, I click here in the gear symbol, go to PCAPs, click the option to upload the file. So I've got a PCAP file here. So that file is uploaded and the next step here is to click the option to process that file. So behind the scenes, the Langardian will analyze that file and run it past traffic analysis, IDS, because I've added that new signature, it's going to check the data contained within within this to see is there anything um, matching the uh, signature, that text-based search that I that I just added a few minutes ago. So that's been processed. So the last step here is to click on the reports. I'm going to go for network events. Now be sure here you choose the PCAP sensor and run the report. So let's see if we got any hits. And sure enough, I have. So within that PCAP file, there obviously was a text string. And let's take a look. So in this case, the signature fired or matched on a connection between this host here and a local server over port 445. We have the option here to view the packet data. So we drill down. So the most interesting information is further down here. Just scroll down. And if we take a look here, this is the actual payload itself, raw packet. And in here, we can see the text string that I was looking for, which is the my name here. But interesting, we also caught that this particular um, transaction not only contained that text string, but also transmitted a password here in clear text. So I kind of caught two things here. One is the text string I was searching for, and secondly, other metadata. In this case, it turned out to be the password was transmitted in the same packet of data. So that's how you can match, or if you have a PCAP file, large or small, and you want to analyze it, look for a particular type of string, you can import it into LangGuardian and write an IDS signature to search for those text strings and then check the network events report for any instances.